Good afternoon, everyone. I am Donna V. Piazen, and I am the first reporter for this group. And our topic is all about developmental reading. So, um, what is developmental reading? First, let us know what is reading. Reading can be defined in many different ways. So, uh, there are things, there are ways that um, reading, uh, um, uh, things can be defined as reading. So, first is reading is a process of putting meaning to the text. And it is also a process of getting meaning from the text. So, putting meaning to the text and getting also the meaning meaning to the text. So, third is a, a psycholinguistic guessing game. Next, it is the key to unlock the world of enlighten, enlightenment. Then, as well as, it is also the basic tool for learning in all areas. So, common to all definitions above, uh, comments all definitions that I have um, uh, read earlier about the different uh, ways of reading um, those are the concept of meaning so in short reading and reading comprehension are inseparable next is what is developmental when we say developmental reading as a task is different task as is different from learning to walk or talk or in other words it is the upon maturation they will natural they will naturally develop. Reading is learned in different way, and many factors should be considered like mental ability, environmental sim stimulations, and etc. Um, when we say developmental, devel it is a sense. It is a sense that reading skills are developed from single to complex, from the er or from from the early part of life until adulthood. Did you know that there are three purposes of reading? I am Rosmila Magiba, and this juncture, I will discuss the purposes of reading and the three main groups of reading theories. The purposes of reading are informational reading, recreational reading, and functional reading. Informational reading, from the word itself, means that the students are about to get information from the text they read. The second one, the recreational reading or pleasure reading. This reading is generally intrinsically or socially motivated and a pleasurable activity of a reader and is a self-selected reading. Um, this reading includes the purpose of enjoyment and may occur inside and outside of the classroom. The last one is the functional reading. This refers to the capacity of a person to engage in all these activities in which literacy is required for effective function of his or her group and community. This is the three main groups of reading theories, the bottom-up, the top-down, and the interactive. Bottom-up depicts reading starting with the input of some gra graphic signals or stimulus. The role, of the, the role of the reader is to give meaning from the text based on the stimulus or the words used. This is also called data-driving processing, meaning the reader understands the text with what firstly detected with their senses that begins at the enter of the bell. Next is Tap down. The text reading beginning with the cognitive process occurring in the reader's mind as he or she reads. The role of the reader is to give meaning to the text based on the information already held with the reader, reader's store of prior knowledge. This is also called concept driving processing. Unlike the bottom up, in this theory, the reader will be the one to give the meaning of the text according to what she or he already know. The last theory is interactive. The text reading at the process of constructing meaning through the dynamic interaction among the reader's existing knowledge by the written language and the context of the reading situation. 
Good day everyone, by the way, my name is Jerick B. Salomon and I am the next reporter. Scrambled jumbled words and language recognition theory. According to a research at Cambridge University, it doesn't matter in what order the letters in a word are. The only important thing is that the first and last letter be at the right place. The rest can be a total mess and you can still read it without a problem. This is because the human mind does not read every letter by itself but the word as a whole. Amazing, huh? So, it means that even the, world, the words are jumbled, we can still read it properly or without a problem. Our mind is focusing on reading a word as a whole instead of focusing in the letters in a word. We can also say that our knowledge also helps us because it gives us the opportunity to recognize the word even without reading the letters within the word. Just like sentence, that's just like the sentence said, said that the only important thing is the first and last letter in the right position. Just like what I do, it is easy for me to read the word properly because I already know the word or I already can recognize the word just by looking at the first and last letter. So the next is the stages of reading development. Stage 1. Emergent Literacy birth to five years the knowledge skills and attitudes that a child develops in relation to reading and writing throughout the early childhood period starting at birth and before the one onset of the conventional reading and writing instruction learn primarily through direct sensory contact and physical manipulation perception based conclusion so, as we all know, children are capable of learning from what they see in their surroundings. In other words, children learn through their direct experiences in their early childhood. We can see so many children that learn from interacting with their parents. They learn to communicate even their speaking skills is not yet good or developed. They also learn to copy the movements or the things that people do. That is why parents is being careful of what they do because their actions or behavior might affect the learning and behavior of the children. Experience difficulty putting experiences into words. So just like what I said earlier that children in the early stage is not really good at using words or speaking words. It might be because they still lack of experience in using words or language. There are children that is also having a hard time in learning and that might be the reason why he or she having difficulty in putting experiences into words. That is why in school, teachers teach the students to communicate and interact so that their communication skills will improve and develop. Next is the rapid language growth. So this rapid language growth is applicable for those uh, children who so inherited an intelligent mind or we can call them as fast learners. It also might be because some children is, is, is exposed in a community that full of people that is communicating. We know that children can also learn from what they hear. That's why it is really good as parent or a teacher to help our child to socialize so that his or her language and communication skill will improve. Next is explore writing in the form of scribbles, letter-like forms or invented spelling. To scribble is to write something quickly and sloppily. You can also call someone's handwriting if it is hard to read a scribble. Scribbling resembles writing, holds and uses pencils like an adult. So practice the children how to write letters because if you know how to read and write letters, it will easy for them to improve their language skills. So next is egocentric. So these are the students or children that is that is egocentric. Uh, so I, I think all almost all children is ego, egocentric. The, these are the children that thinking only of oneself without regard for the feelings or desires of other self-centered. Next is love being read, read to and cannot hear their favorite tales often enough. So as we all know, children really love what's when someone is reading a story for them. They like when their parents read a story uh, during bedtime. It will also help them to learn some words. Uh, next is have poorly developed concept of causation. 
So, children are not really good at thinking about their action. They just do what they want to do without thinking about the consequences of their actions. It is because they still don't understand the things in our world. That's, their, uh, that's why there is a school that will guide and teach them a good lesson. Next is the like the elements of rhyme, re repetition, and alliteration. So, example of this is um, sa poem or poem or any kind of uh, storybooks that is rhyme. Rhyming helps babies and children learn about words, sounds, and language formation. Language, language formation. Hearing and using rhyme. Rhyme and repetition help the children to develop early literary skills. The repetition of words, ideas, and skills is important for early brain development as it creates secure foundations for early learning. Good day everyone. I am Julie Jean B. Salomon and I am the next reporter. So, my assigned task is to discuss the stage 2, 3, 4, and 5 in stages of reading development. So, stage 2, early reading, kindergarten, and first grade. So, the description of this stage is to manipulate objects and ideas mentally, can reason logically, have difficulty comprehending underlying principles, and have evolving grasp of the alphabetic principle. So, in this stage, the child slowly used their background knowledge and um, make connections about what they read. So, they also ask questions, uh, use all the senses, and draw a picture of what they see when they read the text. So, on the other hand, they have difficulty in comprehending underlying principles uh, because in this stage, the level of their comprehension are not yet improving. So, once students uh, understand how to relate what they are reading to other books to the to the world they live in and to their own life, they'll start making personal connections to what they read. Uh, making personal connections to what they read, uh, that enhances comprehension and understanding. So, they also grasp of the alphabetic principle. So, alphabetic principle is connecting letters with the sounds to read and write. So, stage 3 uh, gro growing independence uh, grades 2 and 3 so develop evolving fluency uh, extensive reading of both fiction and non-fiction become more appreciate, appreciate of stor stories involving the lives of others judge their reading effectively and personally rather than by using standards and may have difficulty uh, explaining why they like a selection. So, in this stage, um, the child's skills in reading is developing especially in fluency, uh, fluently reading the text. So, they appreciate more the stories uh, about what they read, especially stories that involving the lives of others. So also, silent independent reading can improve uh, fluency by allowing children regular time to, prove, uh, to practice reading, especially um, improving their uh, reading comprehension. So the next stage is stage 4, reading to learn, grades 4 through 6. The description of this stage is to wide application of word attack and comprehension skills. Uh, much greater emphasis is placed on grasping informational text. Next is, is uh, vocabulary and conceptual load increase significantly. And last, words in listening vocabulary. So, in this stage, uh, the comprehension of the child is improving as well as their vocabulary. So, teaching students how word parts fit together to form uh, multi-syllabic words is one of the most effective uh, methods for helping students 
build their vocabulary. So, helping students learn how to decode uh, multisyllabic words and Im increase their uh, vocabulary improves uh, reading comprehension. And background knowledge or prior, no prior knowledge is so essential to reading comprehension because, because uh, it helps students make sense of new information. So, the, um, the next stage and last stage is stage 5, abstract reading, grade 7 and up. So, the description of this stage is they can construct multiple hypotheses and evaluations of reading become more elaborate and reflective and involving set of standards for judging. So, in this stage, uh, this stage include the ability to understand, uh, understand subjects on a complex level through analysis and evaluation and ability to apply knowledge in the problem. So this ability makes it possible uh, for people, especially students, to exercise creativity. So this stage also helps the, uh, helps the child become more elaborative and refle reflective about what they read. So, my good, mo good day everyone. My assigned topic is all about the other model of stages of reading development. So the and so first is the stage zero or the pre reading. In this stage the children will ar will arrive at the pre reading stage when adults mm, began to read stories to them and they began to listen. Um, the pre reading stage can actually begin in infancy and will last until a child begins to actively learn to read usefully for the first four years of their lives. So, oral language is, is it is the system through which we use spoken words to express knowledge, ideas, and feelings. Developing oral language then means, means developing the skills and knowledge that go into listening and speaking, all of which have a strong relationship to reading comprehension and to writing. So, so next is the stage one or the initial reading. Starting to read for meaning. In this stage, the students or the children is starting to read for meaning. Starting to predict unknown, to predict unknown words using vis visual, visual cues, using rhyming knowledge to add, change and delete, phon and delete phonemes or phonemes or individual sounds to make new words combining strategies and their attempts to read a known text so in here the children is starting um, starting to read for meaning uh, what to read is gonna you can understand what's the meaning of what they read in this stage so so an in initial reading or the or decoding uh, it is the grades 1 to 3 ages 6 to 7. The essential aspect of this stage is learning the arbitrary set of letters and associating these with the corresponding parts of spoken spoken words. So the next is the stage 2 or the, or the confirmation and fluency. So this includes um, decoding, decoding and in this stage the students can decode skills. Um, show fluency of reading and then additional activities mm. and this stage the students begin to read more fluently oh, just like what I said earlier children will identify individual words more quickly more quickly and become automatic and reading familiar text so the next stage is the uh, stage 3 is reading for learning the new it ex mm, in this stage the students um, they start on the long course of reading to learn the new new knowledge new information new thoughts and experiences so they also build background and world knowledge and develop strategic habits so 
its end then stage stage three so the next is stage four are the multiple viewpoints the reader and at this stage begins to be able to analyze with what with with what they read understand different points of view and react critically critically to what they read so the last stage is construction and reconstruction and it is the um, stage is the um, age ages 18 and above when stage 5 is reached one has to learn to read certain bo books to read certain books and articles in the degree of detail and com com completeness 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 that one needs for one's purpose starting at the end of at the end the middle or the beginning that's all thank you Good day everyone, I am Babette Balatayo and I was assigned to give you brief discussion about reading comprehension. First, we will learn what is reading comprehension, then let's explore the levels of reading comprehension, and then we will look into steps on how to solve reading comprehension questions. So, without further ado, let's get started. What is reading comprehension? Reading comprehension is the capacity to perceive and understand the meanings communicated by text. It means that your ability to understand the content of the given passage and to draw a conclusion from it. For example, I have here a passage and we're going to read and answer the reading comprehension question based on our knowledge of the main idea of the paragraph. If you are a fitness worker, there is no need for a commute to a health club. Your neighborhood can be your health club. You do not need a lot of fancy equipment to get a good workout either. All you need is a well-designed pair of athletic shoes. What statement that best support this paragraph? So for clarification, the possible main idea in this paragraph is that fitness walking is a convenient and valuable form of exercise. Why? Because stating the fitness walking does not require a commute a health to a health club, the author stresses the convenience of this form of exercise. The paragraph also states that fitness walking will result in a good workout. For better understanding, let's move on to the levels of reading comprehension. By the way, why it is reading comprehension is important. Reading comprehension is understanding what is read. It is the reason for reading. When students have strong reading comprehension skills, they are able to apply the reading in meaningful ways. In other words, they can take the information they have read about and use it to answer questions, write uh, opinions, or even create something new. Readers with comprehension skill make connections with what they read. They think about the new information in a um, critical way and come up with new ways to use the information. Once uh, readers move um, past decoding words, they can move into making connections and learning from the reading. Comprehension skills is important to help students reach deeper meaning in the text. There is surface level comprehension which is important, but going into deeper meaning is the ultimate goal. There are four main types of comprehension that students focus on. They are literal, interpretative, critical, and creative. Literal comprehension or um, reading the lines. Literal comprehension is the basic understanding of the story of or information. It is being able to pull out the basic that are right there in the text. It is sometimes called as right there questions. Teaching students to go back into the text and highlight, underline, or point the information helps them find the literal comprehension of a particular um, text. Some strategies students um, are can, cause, can use to answer literal comprehension questions are um, um, sometimes they are look for the keywords uh, or the or they will going to reread the parts of the story or scan sections to find what they are looking for. Next is interpretive comprehension or reading between the lines and also known as inferential comprehension. Oh, 
Interpretive comprehension is taking the information from the text and using either background knowledge or information from other source or even other parts of the text to come out to the answer. Teachers usually call these questions think and search um, for the information in the text and make connections. It does require reading or rereading or skimming to find one part of the answer and piecing together different parts of the text or um, searching background information to answer the question. If interpretive comprehension is reading between the lines, in critical comprehension, it is reading beyond the lines. Moving into higher thinking skills, critical comprehension is using the reader's opinion and judgment to answer um, questions. It is using some information from the story and using it to support the opinion or answer and can be called as author and me questions. The answer is not directly in the, st in the story and has to be brought together. Many students find this to be difficult type of questions and to answer since they cannot just put a finger on it. Having students think about um, how the text fits together with what they know, a rereading and making predictions while they are reading can help them think about uh, the text and what they gather or have opinions um, about their reading. Next is evaluative or creative. It is the level of comprehension that uses metacognition. On my high school days, I remember that metacognition is thinking beyond thinking. Creative comprehension is creating new ideas or connecting emotions. Uh, emotions with the book, sometimes called as on your own question. They require the reader to move beyond the basics and make connections based on their own life. It requires a lot of thinking that you've read before, what you already know or what you've done previously to move further from the text. Some readers enjoy this as it allows them to move away from the rigidity of the text and use their own creativity, um, their own creativity to solve the problem. There are many skills teachers and educators can focus on when trying to help their students build their comprehension skills. Generally, reading comprehension skills are locate answers to WHY questions, demonstrate knowledge of story grammar by being able to identify the setting, characters, and main events. Get the main idea. Distinguish big ideas from small ideas. Give appropriate title. Identify key sentence. Scheme the general idea on what the material is about. Find the topic sequence. Next is organize ideas. Classify related ideas or concepts under proper headings or give a heading or title for the text. Sequence events. It is perceiving relationship or um, it is identifying cost-effect relationship or give cost-effect relationship in paragraph or passages read. I guess that would be all in learning reading comprehension and I will give the virtual floor to the next reporter. So the first category is main idea questions that test your ability to find the central thought of a passage or to judge its significance, often take the following form. So, na yung mga examples, mga, or mga questions sa tadiri nga. Pero kung ito nang basahan, dugay-dugay at ta. So, ang point talaga ni. So, ang first category is, muna siya ang mga questions nga mag-test sa iyong abilidad sa pagkuha ni mo sa main idea, ang main idea, main thought, or kung saan ang pasabot sa passage. So, that is the first category. So, the second one is finding specific details. Questions that test your ability to understand what the author states explicitly are often worded. So, muna siya ang mga questions yung mag-test sa mga abilidad sa pagsabot. Kung unsa ang, <coughs> unsa ang mga part, asa nga part na pit ang ipalinaw nga gi-state sa author. Panditan diri nga part is sakto sakto iyang kuan mga kompleto complete details diri ang nga part so nisabtan ni mo na mga questions nga magtest kung diri ba nasabtan mo nga diri nga part nga gi state ba linaw ba nga pagka state sa author diri nga part kulang-kulang ba ang details 
So, muna siya ang mga question. So, muna siya ang second category. So, the third one, the third category is drawing inferences. Questions that test your ability to go beyond the author's explicit statements and see what these st statements imply. May be worded. So, ang third category is muna siya mga questions sa uh, mag-test sa mga ability nga. May gusto nyo pagsabot ang statement sa author. Alitan. Ay, kung ganina ako sa ikaduha ako sa um, category number category 2 category 2 is imong na imong ma-understand maibawaan nyo kung asa ang kung ang asa ang statement is complete details ang mas ipalinaw sa author. Diri sa number 3 category 3 is muna siya ang pag-test sa imong ability kung unsay mo nasabtan. Kumbaga unsay gi-imply. Pagkabalo ni mo sa Pagkabalo ni mo kung unsa ang gi-imply sa gi-imply sa statements nalitan is dire ngay kwan linaw kay ning statements ay linaw kay ning statements gilinaw ni sa kwan sa author pagka complete details so unsa di gi-imply ani sige so, gi-imply ani nga uh, kwan statements so muna siya uh, category 3 so the fourth one is tone attitude questions that test your ability to sense an author's or character's emotional state of think the form. So, muna siya ang kuhan. Uh, muna siya mga questions. Questions nga mag-test yung ability sa pag-sense bitaw ni mo, kumbaga pag-lantaw ni mo, kumbaga ma-feel bitaw ni mo ang kuhan, ang emotion sa kuhan, sa character or sa author. Kumbaga, kung sa man iyang gibati din nga part, kung sa may gibati niya, kung sa may mga gifeel niya din. So, Ang mga feeling, emotion sa emotion sa author or character is imong ma-feel or imong ma-sense. So, ang fourth category is muna siya ang mga questions na mag-test. Kung na-sense ba nimo, na-feel ba nimo ang emotion, ang uh, mga feeling sa author or characters. So, the fifth category is of reading questions. Determining the meaning of words from their context questions. So, this is to test your ability to work out the meaning of unfamiliar words. It is one of the frequently asked questions is based on finding the context or contextual questions. Generally, such questions that test your vocabulary with reference to the given passage. Such questions ask you to identify the meaning of a particular word's sentence of the passage. In writing, context following best describes the development of the passage. Then, in presenting the argument, the author does all the following except uh, present the paradox. Then, the relationship between the second paragraph and the first paragraph can be best described as uh, a description of the people followed by a narrative of their actions. So, in the passage, the author makes the central point primarily by um, as answer the questions what does the author want me to know about the topic or what is the author teaching me. Then, um, the organization of the passage can, be, can best be described as uh, a historical overview. It, overview. it provides an outline for the ideas to flow. Critical reading. Critical reading should be skeptical just because it is print doesn't mean it is right. Uh, fact oriented, give me give me the facts and convince me that they are the relevant ones. Analytic, how has the work been organized? What strategies has the writer used? Um, open minded. Or be prepared to listen to different points of view. Do not be restricted by personal biases. Questioning. Um, questioning what other conclusion could be supported by the evidence. Creative. Creative. What are some entirely different ways of looking at the problem or issue? Willing to take a stand. Is the argument convincing? What is my position on the issue? Uh, uh, one who shows the ability to separate facts 
from opinion, recognize propaganda, techniques, compare, compares, and different sources of information, recognize important missing information, draws inference that are not ex explicitly stated and identifies the author's background and purpose. So, critical reading, it allows to read and analyze a text critically, breaking it down into its components, parts, and assessing its strengths and weaknesses. Creative reading. Creative reading must use his her cognitive processes to develop ideas that are unique, useful, and worthy of further elaborations, can discover or a new or improved solution to a problem, or a set of new ideas can organize ideas in different ways and make unusual comparisons, must not be ex inhibited by the conformity, censorship, regard, education, and desire to find an answer quickly. So, creative reading is a reading that that impl implied and an inferred meanings, appreciative reasons, and critical evaluations of an of an ideas. So, uh, meta cognitive reading, being aware of one's mental processes, such as that one can monitor, regulate, and direct them to a desired end, and having the ability to think about and control own learning. So, each one of us has the different kinds of of things or different kinds of method or st strategies on how we can learn. So, as a student, we should have to know on what areas or what different areas or strategies that we can easily learn about the topic or the text that we have been read. Then... Practicing self-regulation and monitoring comprehension by answering the following questions. First, are there any words I don't understand? So, of course, as a student, there are lots of words or the vocabularies there or the difficult words or unfamiliar words that we can encounter throughout our, our um, studying or read the text. So, we should have to consider that one. In order for us to easily learn, di ba? Ano, di na juna to malik kaya no? We can't avoid that, uh, that things that the there are lots of unfamiliar words or difficult words that we can encounter. The next, is there any information that doesn't agree with what I already know? So, so as a student, we already have the knowledge or something. We have, we have learned lots of informations from our previous texts that we have read or the articles that we have read that maybe it will contradict to the, to the new text that we have been read recently or presently. So, is there any information that doesn't agree with what I already know? Mm -hmm. Then, are there any ideas that do not fit together? Because I can tell who or what is being talked about. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes when we read the text or the articles, we are have a difficulty to understand all about what the text being tackled. Mm -hmm. Then, are there any ideas that do not fit together because I can tell how the ideas are related? Mm -hmm. Because sometimes, that at what I have said, that sometimes we have difficulty in understanding and we all know that we are people, we are different individuals, we are different in how we think. So sometimes we think like this way and the other other person think like this way so sometimes we can't easily understand of what we have read because we have our own understanding mm. are there any ideas that do not fit together because 
I think the ideas are contradictory. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes we believe to ourselves, we believe only of what we have known, what we know already. Yeah, Because sometimes we can encounter um, texts that we are very surely that it, it is being contradictory of what we already know. Mm -hmm. Is there any information missing or not clearly explained? Mm -hmm. Sometimes there are a lot of articles that the information is um, not incomplete. Then the resources is, you know, the resources is not complete or not valid resources. Mm -hmm. But when we are reading or if we want to learn more about the things around us or we read um, written text, so important thing is fill empty your cup in order to fill it again. Mm. In other words, we should have to accept other other ideas, other information in order for us to to judge whether our current our current text that we have read is valid compared to the to the text that we have already read previously or we should have to to skill or balance the ideas that we can gather so fill empty your cup in order to fill it again accept new ideas before we compare it um, one by one or before we judge it so let's have to accept all the ideas factors that affect reading performance what the reader brings to the reading situation or developmental stages so first background experience your background experience about the text that you have been read ba? your background ideas or um, mm, stock knowledge about the topic that you have been read presently present mm -hmm. Knowledge of the subject, of course, like what I have said, your knowledge or your background, right? knowledge of the ideas you, you have been already know about the subject that or the text that you have been read, your mm, knowledge. Then, vocabulary, so vocabulary like what I, what I have said um, earlier, that we can encounter lots of unfamiliar words or the difficult words so it is very hard to understand the text if there are lots of unfamiliar words that we can't understand so that's why we, we should have to open our vocabulary so it is very required that when you are reading just bring your um, dictionary in order for to encounter um, many difficult words or unfamiliar words we can easily access to the dictionary in order for us to easily know the meaning of that um, unfamiliar words so open our vocabulary Did the next purpose purpose of why we have to read this text or this this information our purpose or or what purpose that that we want or the, what our purpose towards why we read this text or what the information that we want or maybe we want information in order for us to compare other things something like that or to verify and look like that then motivation and interest of course it is the most important your motivation and interest you're motivated to learn or to read this text and your interest about the text or the article that you have to read so if you are not interested or not you, you are not motivated to read such text or, or written text so it is very difficult for you or for us to read it diba? so it is very important to have our interest to these articles or the article that we have to read then the characteristics of the written text or print materials content of course the content of the written materials or the articles that we have to read whether 
our interest is in there or the text that have been written by this article is not not capable to us or we are not being interested from it okay so content is factors that are being important for us as a learner in format and readability so the format of the text or even its readability or is it to read or sometimes you have difficulty in reading diba so it should be readable then concept the concept of the text or what concept or what topics diba? that this text or articles that is being conveyed then organization or organization of the ideas the, the ideas that are being re, being um, written in this text they are being organized because sometimes for us if the ideas are not being organized it is very hard for us to easily understand that about what the text are being conveyed or what is the message of the text if the ideas are not being organized ba so it is very it's very important to organize the ideas in order for us the learner to easily learn on what this text convey or what the message of this text all about then author's purpose the purpose of author on why the author um, um write this article or what is the purpose of the author like like jose rizal that that he he re, he, re, he write he wrote the no limit tanghere and el pelebosterismo and his purpose is to open up the mind of the filipinos so the learning context and defines the task and the purpose of the reader or the reading situation first is the setting and the setting or the environment so setting or environment so it's one of us as the learner we live in different kinds of places or lives our environment are indifferent so like for example that we live in the city we live um in the mountains or we live in the in the squatter places or so some things like that that are different settings or our different environment environment to where we stay as a learner the next one is the task our task our task on why we read such text diba? so like for example like what dr sersal has being uh right the no limit and el pelebosterismo so the sitting the sitting of the uh, filipinos before as uh, the we are being in the morabitao kanang alipin ang alipin ta sa mga kastila so ang tumong result ato kay para ma-open up ang eyes o ang mga mata o ang unahuna sa mga pilipino o yun sa pagmaltrato sa mga kastila ang pilipino so what is the task of the reader there about what Dr. Rizal, Jose Rizal being read, I wrote the No Limit Tanghera Pilbosterismo. So, the task there is to open their mind, to open their mind as a reader on what is uh, being true happening of our, of the entire, entire situation of the Filipinos. So, the outcomes there, the outcomes ta. So, the outcomes there is after the Filipino um being read the the text or the novel of Jose Rizal the Nulepit Tanghera and El Pelebos Teresmo so what what the outcomes so the outcomes is um nag-alsa sila um uh, um gusto nila sa Pilipino nga kuam Pilipino before nga ang pagmaltrato sa ilaha dili na mausab Kaya kabalo na, kabalo naman sila sa sayo po sa dili. So, moto, gusto silang kalayaan. So, moto, ang outcomes. So, for us, as a student, uh, we are living in a different areas or different places. So, um, wha uh, what we read, uh, what text that we have been read, so there are lots of values or the uh, message that they should have to convey. So, so what we read uh, can 
have a um, very important factors that can affect our dream living because there are lots of um, values that we have read so it can uh, apply to our daily lives so like for example when we are in the very poor places that we can encounter uh, lots of texts that um, gi gi look down nila ang mga pobre or something like that so it can motivate us to ah kinahanglan ko motiwas o eskwela kay para po dili na ko matamak-tamakan sa mga dato o diba kay para po makatabang focus akong isikataw nga pobre something like that so muna siya ang outcomes so the, the strategies consciously applied by the reader to obtain meaning so according to Harris and Hodges 1995 uh, strategy is a systematic plan consciously adapted and monitored to improve one's performance in reading. So, as a learner, we have different levels of learning or uh, multi-learning love and different styles or strategies that we can consider for us on how um, the individual learned or easily learned about the text that they have been read so like for me i have my own style or strategies on how i easily learn the the text that i have been read uh, for example example context clues mini elimusinary or philanthropic agency are helping the poor and disadvantaged people so it means that there are there are agencies that are uh, uh, the charities the charities the willing to help the poor people or nagkalisod ng mga tao ba ana something like that so as we can see the the context close there um there are there are um unfamiliar words like ilimusinary or philanthropic um ilimusinary like a charity or philanthropic like uh, or oh, charity kanang maghatag sila ng mga um kanabitaw Mm -hmm. mga foundation ba foundation ng mga agencies mga like oh, lagi maghatag sila mga kwarta o money nga saan sila ba um mutabang sa mga taong nagkalisod oh this sunod uh, Maricel was very talkative but Rico remained taciturn so talkative so taciturn um unfamiliar words it means um uh, behave or something um very little to talk. Um, Talagsa na kayo mo tabi iba hilumun. Mm. The next, Rene gave his fake ID card to the guard and held his breath. The guard was busy talking to a friend and gave it a perfunctory glance. So, Rene breath normally again. So, motono, um, si Rene naghatag uh, give the, his fake ID to the guard. Mm. So, nakulbaan siya. Motong murag kuan siya gihold ni ang breath kinakulbaan siya so eh busy man ang guard mm, nagmaritis man ang guard mm. so mao to um, wala na kayo yung effort nga gihatag sa guard para palantaw niyang ID ni Rene so mao to gihatag automatically so kay wala naman gi investigahan o fake ba to or dili gihatag naman na rego so mao to si Rene makaginawa nagtarong kay na wala yang kakulba kay gihatag niyang ID mm. Dyslexia, a reading problem, okay? A case related to poor reading. So, um, I, I can encounter before the uh, a child um, difficulties in reading. So, we can't deny that there are lots of people um, in this world or even in our country that there are difficulties in reading. So, it is brain-based. So, of course, it is based on our cognitive, cognitive, na nastong otok yun, di ba? Kay, ang mabasa yun, atong ikas sa mata, matos tong otok. So, brain-based yun siya. Mm. Based on our cognitive, cognitive, uh, hmm, buksa na eh. Basta based on our cognitive thinking. Uh, thinking, cognitive, good na. Uh, mm. A learning disability, no? Uh, letter or word reversal um ang letter or word reversal silang panglantaw um ang word mabali uh, mabali ang word like for example 
ang letter B mabali or ang B may mong P kay matwist bitaw ma marotate something ang words ma mix mix ang word um inability to remember or recall mm, di ba maglisod sila og um remember lisod sila og uh, memorize or maglisod sila og recall bago pang nabasa bago pang nakita makalimot na sad um written or spoken directions and ability to recall or remember stories text recently read poor spelling um igo kay kuna poor spelling bugo yung spelling gyud and drawing ability difficulty understanding or comprehending written or spoken information left right directionality and atc diba kini jud pud oh Oh, kabalo po ko mabasa, I can read, but sometimes there are lots of difficult words or unfamiliar words that I can encounter. So, moto siya. Isod po. Then, like the spelling. Spelling. I am not really good in spelling. Like, friends, sometimes, um, I am very conscious of what the spelling of friends. Or something look like that. Oh, that's why in written test, Uh, gagmay kikong score yun kay spelling ko daugon maglisod ko memorize sa mga spelling maglisod ko og recall memorize mo na mas ilan kong uralon na lang ko Deon. comprehensive neurodevelopmental exam o neurodevelopmental so comprehensive so like we can comprehend the text or the passages that we have been read maglisod yun ang bata basta na siya dileksya so moto no nga ang mga words mga bali majambol majambol ang mga letters maglisod sila og memorize o di ba lisod sila og recall something like that nakasulay sad ko ingana pero later on naka recover pud ko di ba so causes of the lecture causes ha visual perception difficulty so visual perception difficulty So visual, like uh, what I have said, be said that I have what uh, what we have been read. Um, kwan, no, um, ang kuan mga jumbled letters or a uh, letter or word reversal, word reversal. O nga ang letter B, ma reverse may mong P, di ba? Or ang B mabali ang mga letters nga mooy lang visual na makita sa mga na dileksya na sakit ah, na bitaw sakit man ang dileksya good so ano visual perception difficulty so ilang pang lamtaw mga reverse reversed mga mabali-bali or majambold auditory perception difficulty audio auditory silang pang dungog di kayo kanang ilang hearing hearing ba difficulty kay sila ilang paminaw kanang di kayo kan paminaw di kadungog lahi ilang mapaminawan di ba lahi ilang mapaminawan or lahi ilang pagdungog or di kis nakaklaro pagpaminaw mm. then language processing difficulty so di po kayo mga bulol kasi gara po sila munas na ang mga bulol ang um, kanabit ang mga bata kadungog mo nga mga bulol yun kanabit ang yung istorya mga yung mga yungit yungit nga pag yung istorya muna sila kakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
Buro sa ito, lahat to basta something like, like, like that. Nga dili na to dapat sila tamayon or i-lockdown kung dili. At itong pangitaon, o kahas sila ang strength nila or asa ilang kusog. Or kung matabangan ba na to sila kung gusto makaya, ato silang tabangan. Next, correction. Improving left, right, directionality. So, improving right, left, directionality. So, as as we can, as we know that katong mga basa ang mga bata, mga panglantaw sa mga word is na reverse or nabali ba ang mga letters, ang letter ang letter B, nabali, ang letter P, nahi mong letter B paglantaw nila, or ang B, nahi mong letter P, something like that. So, <coughs> improving left or right, directionality. So, muna ito ang left direction, right direction, at ito na sa mga bata. Kaya para makabalo sa ah, dapit nag, nag face ang katong letter B o something like that. Diba? Improving laterality. So, improving laterality. Uh, lateral. Like, like we all know that our brain are two sides, the left and the right brain. So, like for example, um, dungano na to pag, kwa pag function ng sa kabutang, like our eyes and our our hands, di ba? Nga, dungano na to pag lihok, di ba? Or multifunction, or something like that, bita improving ang multifunction. Kaya kung sa turatang mata magbagbase, di natay gustong buhaton, so, mapituan dyan po ng ato ang, um, ato ang, um, Um, psychomotor, di ba? Ang psychomotor na to mapiktuan good kung naarata sa um, cognitive, di ba? Kaya kung cognitive, based on our brain at makita din ang psychomotor, um, ang atong the way we, we, one, the way we do something. So, multifunction, dapat madungan siya, makaya madungan sa bata. Di ba? Di yun. Improving coordination, so coordination or focus, coordination of something or focus towards the things or um, what the things we do or sa atong di pang buhat nga butang, makafocus na natay coordination sa usa ka butang para kung natay uh, purpose nga mahuman na, ato siya mahuman or ato silang ma, kuan, ma up, di ba? Coordination, so intensive phonics instruction program. So, phonics instruction program, um, as a teacher, um, we should have to teach, um, like, like a, a student, um, the way, the proper, the proper way to, to write the letters, or the proper way to pronounce the words, or uh, something like that, the words, or to spoke the different words fluently, o para dili sila makanga-kanga ang mga bata, o di ba, like, ato na i-delect lagi nga mag magbulul bulul bulul mabulul bulul sila so matabangan na, na sila pinagi sa practice practice mix up mix better or not perfect practice mix perfect because nobody is perfect so mix better na para sa sunod-sunod ma-improve na ilahang um, dila on how the the spoke or the speak uh, some some words di ba di sila mabulul then sa pagsulat po para dili na ma-reverse ang ilahang pagsulat, dili ang reverse ang mga letters, like ang letter B, may mong letter P, ilang pang lamtaw, so mausab na. So, muna siyang intensive phonics instruction program. So, naji program no, um, para magtudlo sa mga bata. Yun. Dili na to sila tamayon, dili na sila lockdown, kung dili, kutob sa itong makaya, or kutob sa itong mga, the way, the way or what, what things we can help to them, We should have to help to them, di ba? Katong na mga dilek siya nga, sakit, kaya sakit mag na siya, di ba? Nakalimutan ko sa to title tong Salida, pero nice kito siya gud. Katong Indian movie about ng bata nga na sakit nga dilek siya. But overall, hmm, moto siya no reading, uh, met, metacognitive, uh, metacognitive, one, metacognitive reading, de on, um, function that affect reading performance, mula gito, ito mga vocabularies, mga motivation, um, background na ito, then, ang um, one po, dyslexia, reading problem, sumoto siya no, overall, nadyo sakit ng dyslexia, so, moto siya as a future teacher, 
you should have to teach them not to lock down them mm, a good teacher nga kuan gyud kang kutob sa tong makaya ato silang tabangan intensive phonics instruction program